Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back and it's time to break down Wednesday's NBA DFS slate and it's a good thing that I waited um, because we've got news all over the place. I'm going to skip games um, just to make sure I can get this up because like I said, Wednesday's really busy days for me. Uh, same with Mondays with college, so really busy days. So we're going to skip like the Utah-Washington game and a few others. So let's start with Miami. Uh, we have Tyler Johnson questionable currently... Uh, still questionable for tonight's game if he is going ahead and ruled out because we already have James Johnson out tonight He's been suspended for the punch he threw last night against Ibaka and Ibaka should be suspended tomorrow. I believe Because um, they do not play tonight. I believe they play tomorrow So we've got waiters out Winslow out Magruder out Okara White out James Johnson out and maybe Tyler Johnson I like Dragic at 6500 uh, may not go there, but I do like Dragic. Like Josh Richardson at 6,300. Um, you've got 3,000 Derek Jones Jr., who played in his first game for the Heat. Or his second game for the Heat. Uh, or wait. Okay, he played his... Okay, he played his first, like, real game with the Heat. I don't really count these, like, nine minutes that he was playing. He played 28 minutes last night, put up 19 fantasy points at 3K. I mean, it's good. It's six. It's a little over. It's like six and a half x, which is gonna get you there. But I don't know. It's not as much as I would have liked. Um, I do like him tonight on the slate. He opens up a lot of stuff, so I'll probably end up going there. But the real guy on Miami you want is Bam Adebayo. He played every single minute once James Johnson went out of the game. Put up fifty. He's not gonna put up fifty again. But if he puts up thirty. It's, it, it's huge. Um, I'm going to expect blocks, not five, but two. And go, let's go with two blocks. No assists, 12 rebounds, 12 points. 12, 12 and 12 with three blocks, two or three blocks, two blocks. So what is that? That's 15, 19. That'd be 41. He's going to play 30-ish minutes tonight without James Johnson. I mean, they have no one else. they got to play... Olenek, Whiteside, and Bam. Um, I doubt they give Mickey many minutes. He played six last night, even once Johnson went out. Mickey more plays when Whiteside is out. Whiteside's still on a little bit of a minutes cap. 30 minutes is nice, but still a little bit lower than I would like to see out of him. Kelly O, going to play somewhere in the 30s probably. Only played 22 last night, but uh, Bam, probably I would expect 27, 28 minutes out of him. Indiana will skip. Utah, Washington will skip. Dallas, I have one thing to say about this. I do like Yogi Ferrell in GPPs. Uh, it's also Dennis Smith homecoming. He said he's going to have about 30 to 35 friends and family available. So take that whatever you want. Charlotte pass. Detroit, just Andre Drummond, really. Um, I do like Dwight Bikes. I think that's how you say his name. Bikes, like B-U-Y's by by. And then if you add the CKS, it's bikes. I think it's Dwight bikes, but no one pronounces it like that. Like when you watch DFS shows and stuff like that, no one says Dwight bikes. But I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how you would say it. Um, he only played 14 minutes in the last game, which worries me a little bit. But if he gets 17, 22, if he gets 22, I think he can get here. And I really like him at 3,500, but I don't know if I can guarantee he plays that tonight. Uh, Bradley was back those other games, so it's not like it was Bradley cutting his minutes. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. I might end up playing Dwight Bikes tonight. It is actually physically possible to get Westbrook, Durant, and Boogie all on one team. So it does require to, you to play guys like Dwight Bikes. Brooklyn, there are a bunch of guys that people like on Brooklyn. I'll just say it like this. Um, there's just a lot of guys people like. I'm not really sure I have any interest personally, but Dinwiddie, Lavert, um, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, Quincy AC, all getting a lot of love today on Brooklyn against Detroit. Not for me. Chicago, Miritich is doubtful. If I don't get news on this, then I'm not going to. I think he's still. Uh, yeah, he's still considered doubtful. I wanted to make sure you didn't get rolled out on my drive home. Uh, I was getting the alerts on my phone as I was driving. I just didn't see anything about Miritich. So I just wanted to make sure he wasn't rolled out yet. So if he's out, Bobby Portis, nice play. Not a must play in my opinion, but a great play. Um, he's probably going to get you somewhere around 30 tonight. Um, 
He really didn't rebound the ball well in his minutes against Houston. That's my one issue. He's going to need to get some rebounds. Should have to guard Kristaps Porzingis tonight, so that's a little bit of a daunting task. But I would expect him to get more around the 7 or 8 rebounds and probably around the 15 points. Like a 15 and 8 game. Um, maybe one blocker steal. Something similar to this, this line right here, but add some more rebounds and get rid of the excessive amount of blocks. He's not getting three blocks. Um, that's about it there. You could look at uh, Lori Markinen, but I'll probably won't. Or Justin Holiday. You can look at Justin Holiday. He's pretty cheap. Um, at 5300. You can look at Courtney Lee here. People are touting him today. Not one of my favorite plays, but it's not a bad play at 5100. He should probably return value, uh, but it's not like a guarantee. New Orleans and Memphis. Um... Anthony Davis is doubtful pretty much means he won't play it's 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 brow it's the glass house of Anthony Davis DeMarcus Cousins my favorite play behind Kevin Durant uh, we'll get into Durant later but Cousins my favorite play other than Durant he had an awful game against the uh, um, Pistons and still was able to put up 46 um, he got blocks and steals which helped him get there but it was not one of the more quality boogie games, so I think he gets it going tonight against Memphis. He, he's kind of been up, or, up and down in his career against um, uh, Marc Gasol, but I think he does perfectly fine tonight. Dante Cunningham, interesting, but I have way too many forwards that I want to play, so he's not even getting considered. Etwan Moore, 4,600. People are going to play him. I don't know. I just don't feel like he has... A ceiling for me like he he's not going to get you any of the peripheral stats he's not going to get any of those he's going to need to score 20 points and if he doesn't score 20 points it's an issue and on this slate tonight I don't think I can go there Darius Miller at 3700 is pretty interesting he's going to get in the game he's going to shoot he's going to play more than these 16 minutes he did uh, especially tonight um but I don't know if I can go there either I like Drew Holiday at 6900 he's a beast when when Davis is out, sees a huge usage bump. Uh, should be good for 40 points, I would think. Um, not like a lock for 40, but that would be my expectation if I plug him in. Rondo averages about 14 more fantasy points per game with Davis out. Averages about 27 with Davis in and about 30... Or no, wait, not 17. He averages uh, about 7 more. It's, it's 27 with with Davis it's 34 without him and one of those games was a 50 burger without him so I'm, I'm looking for Rondo to have a really nice game tonight he needs about 30 to pay off value uh, you're gonna need people to pay off value tonight um, you're I don't think you're getting it done with like a 3x unless it's a 3k crapper that gets 3x then you might be all right but I'm thinking you're probably gonna need if everybody performs, like if Durant and Brow and or not and Boogie and Westbrook and Jimmy Buckets and guys produce, you're gonna have to head. You're gonna have to score tonight. Uh, Tyreek Evans at 8,300. I love him, and then I really like Marcus Gasol. They won't make my cash games, but I really do like them tonight. Moving on, we're already through six games. Portland and Houston. Not too much to say here. Damian Lillard is questionable. I'm just not messing with it. If we don't get news, I'm probably not messing with it either. Shabazz Napier is 6,200 now. I just don't think I... There's not a whole lot of upside left for him at that price. Like, yeah, he can get me 45, or he can get... Like, he's going to probably get me 30 without an issue. But I don't... I don't know. 6,200 at point guard, I could just go to Drew Holiday and get, like, a 40 burger. So I'm not sure I'd go there. Then on Houston... The usual suspects, CP3, Gordon, Gerald Green, uh, nothing special there. We've got the ESPN game at 8 o'clock, OKC, Minnesota. Russell Westbrook, my favorite play in this game. Third favorite play on the board behind Boogie and Durant. Should see 36, 37 minutes tonight. Um, it is a back-to-back. -back. Should mention that it is a back-to-back, -back, so maybe he sees his minutes a little bit more restricted. Put up 60 last night. Should have been like 65 if they didn't take their starters out. Um, but still, uh, I like Westbrook tonight. Um, Paul George draws 
I, I tried to watch the game film on this game, but it's weird because Roberson is out. So I don't exactly know what they're going to do because Roberson guarded Jimmy Butler. So Jimmy Butler sh put most of his time on Westbrook and Wiggins guarded PG. So I do like Paul George tonight. Won't go there in cash, but I do like Paul George tonight. Mello got Taj. I don't want any part of that. Terrence Ferguson should probably start again and will draw Wiggins or will draw Tyus Jones defense unless, unless um, what's his face um, Teague is back. You can also look at Stephen Adams. I, I like Stephen Adams, but he he got a little bit of a price bump to sixty five, and he's just not been getting a double double, which is my issue. If he got double doubles. I'd be all over him, but he hasn't been getting them, so not too interested. The T-Wolves all depend on Jeff Teague. Uh, if Teague, which is a game-time decision, so we won't know. Um, if he goes, then I don't want to play Butler. If he doesn't go, I love Butler at 8,700. Uh, but that's about it there. Orlando and Milwaukee, it's a fine fantasy game. Like, you got Bloodsoe, Middleton, uh, Fournier. You got a bunch of good plays in this game, but I don't think any of them make the cut for me tonight. You got Giannis. Uh, moving on to Atlanta and Denver. There's not much on the Atlanta side. I do like Dennis Schroeder at 6,800 in this game. Uh, Prince and Bazemore are really good GPP prices when they're under 6K because uh, they can put up 40 or 50. Ilya Sova, interesting. Same with John Collins, but not too interested there. One play on Denver that I love, Jokic at 8,600. Uh, always good to have a center with triple-double, but with no clay and Steph, I like Draymond more than him. Um, you can look at the guards. I always like the guards at, on Denver. And then Trey Lyles. Been tra playing Trey Lyles like every night, but this might be a night I don't actually play him. I still think he's good at 6,100 to get 5, 6x, but I just don't think he fits my roster construction. On the Clippers, Griffin is still out. Rivers is out. Milos Teodosic is out. Jawan Evans got a price bump to 4,700. Probably still not enough. Um, you can definitely still play him here. Um, can look more for the 30-point-ish area for points for him which would pay off value nicely lou williams um in this spot did really well on uh only played 24 minutes because of the blowout did not play most of the i don't even think he played the fourth quarter at all he had 23 through three quarters so have some interest in sweet lou um because i think they can probably keep the game a little bit closer um deandre is interesting but he's kind of expensive and final team of the night okay so we kind of blew through this not too fast but I think I got, I think I got my point across on most of these plays. So we've got Steph and Clay out. Clay is resting. Steph tweaked his ankle in shoot around. Um, the beat writer said like on a step back or um, making a shot move. There was no one around him. It wasn't caused by a teammate. It was all him. So Kevin Durant. I don't even think the game logs are still going to be on here, but we oh wait, they are. We get we get peak. Kevin Durant, we get 72, 65 point Kevin Durant. So I am excited to play Kevin Durant again. I need a little bit of news that he's for sure going. Okay, he has been, okay, good, good, good. That came in at 340, I guess. I didn't see that update, but Durant cleared to play, so he's good to go tonight. Should play his 30, should play with those guys out if this game stays close. Should see 38 minutes-ish, so... Looking forward to that. Draymond Green, 8,400. I'll be trying to get him into my lineup. You should get, as long as this game stays close, you should get 50 from him. He's going to put up a triple-double tonight um, against the Clippers. Uh, and so I, I'm trying to get Draymond into my lineup. If I can get Draymond in there, he's going to be in there. Because like this game even, where he was 3,600 against the Clippers... He was going to get the double or the triple double. He needed one more point and three more assists, and he had the whole fourth quarter to go. So I will be playing Draymond and Durant. I might fade Boogie. He's 11K, and he kind of restricts my lineup. I think I would like my lineup better with Durant and Green and no Boogie, but I'm going to have to play with it. I love Boogie, but Dr Draymond and Durant are like my. It goes Boogie, Durant. Or no, it goes Durant, Boogie, Westbrook, Draymond. That's my top four. And I can have two of those are significantly cheaper than the other ones. Durant's 1500 cheaper than Brow and 1900 cheaper than Westbrook. Green is 2600 cheaper than Boogie and 3 k less than Westbrook. I mean, 
I feel like I have to go Durant and Green, but the lineup's not bad without Green, um, but I'll have to toy around with it without Boogie and see how it goes. It's interesting how this is going to go tonight for the uh, Warriors. I think I'm going to end up playing Nick Young at 3,200, Swaggy P. One, I don't know why, but one of my favorite players in the NBA um, should play 20 plus minutes tonight. He hasn't played 20 plus in a while, and yes, I could get a one point from him, and then I'll just want to jump off a bridge. But I think he should have to play extended minutes uh, tonight because there's nobody else to play. I mean. If you look at their guard situation, they're going to play Iggy, but Iggy's got to play small forward too. They're going to play Patrick McCaw, Sean Livingston, Nick Young, Quinn Cook. There's five guys to play. What, not 96 minutes? I mean, Iggy's going to have to play small forward minutes. He's going to play 30 minutes tonight, but he's going to have to play small forward minutes, so it's not like created equal minutes. Caspi will soak up some small forward. I guess maybe they'll just play Iggy at shooting guard. Probably, But Livingston doesn't go into like the 20s. He, he rarely goes into the 20s. So, or deep into the 20s, I guess is what I'm saying. So if you go 20 to Livingston, McCall usually plays in the 20s when these guys are out. So if we go 25 for McCall, that's 45. Quinn Cook has not seen more. He doesn't see, like, 20s. So, like, we'll go with, like, 15. There's 50 minutes. I guess if Iggy plays 30, that's 80. That only leaves 16 for Nick Young. But I do real. I still like Nick Young tonight. Let me... I'm going to stick with my guns. I like Nick Young tonight. Um, big men, interesting, but they don't get any extra run. It's just Draymond and Duran as my favorites. And then I do like Nick Young. Maybe not go there, but... I do like him tonight. But guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I can get this up in time to give some of you a little bit of help. Like I said, always my Mondays and Wednesdays are crazy. But I will catch you guys in the next episode and some NFL probably tonight or tomorrow. So peace out, guys.